Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be making this 16 ounce offset peekaboo glitter mug. I'm using a 16 ounce travel mug from The Steel Magnolia and I've already sanded it to prep it, but I didn't spray paint it because we're using silver glitter. So we're just gonna use the regular stainless steel as the base color. So the first step is to glitter your cup. I have about three milliliters of epoxy on the tumbler and I'm using a custom mix that I put together using all different peachy olive glitters. Uh, the primary colors in this mix are Elizabeth and Guy Diamond. I'm just putting this glitter all over the cup, aiming for full coverage. Since this is a peekaboo cup, I probably could have avoided glittering the handle of this mug, but at the time I was glittering, I didn't know where I was gonna put my stencils. But moving forward, since you're gonna spray paint it, you probably don't need to worry about glittering the handle. It's just a hassle to get everything smooth and might as well avoid all of that trouble. After that, I'm gonna go in with Super Nez or Super NES, I don't know how to say it, from Peachy Olive Glitters. This is a super fine holographic glitter, so I wanna use it to cover any holes or fill in anything that still might be empty on this cup and make sure that we have complete full coverage. I let the glitter dry for about four hours and then I sprayed it with a coat of clear spray paint to seal the glitter. And I'm gonna do two coats of epoxy over my glitter before I go in and sand. The first coat was just about 20 milliliters. Uh, this is a 16 ounce cup, so it's not very big, but I wanted to make sure that I coated it with enough epoxy so that I didn't get any bubbles or anything from working the epoxy too hard. Once that cured for just about six hours, I went in with another coat of epoxy and that one was about 15 milliliters. I let the second coat cure for just about 24 hours and then I sanded down any rough spots and tried to get the cup as smooth as possible. Once the cup is smooth, it's time to place our stencils. I'm using Aura Mask stencil vinyl for the stars. Um, you can ignore that orange part for the wording, we're gonna deal with that later. But for the stars, we're just gonna apply them randomly all over the cup. I have two sizes. I'm using just a few big ones and then lots of little ones. And I'm just placing them randomly all over the cup. There's no real pattern or anything I'm following. Just wanna make sure that they are spaced out enough uh, so they're not clumped together on one side of the cup or anything like that. But yeah, really no pattern or rhyme or reason to applying the stars. So like I said earlier, I ended up taking off that orange vinyl and replacing it with a different stencil. I just kind of tweaked it a little bit. Um, once all of the stencils were placed, I spray painted the cup black. And once the paint was dry, I peeled off all of those decals. And now we're going to seal our paint with some epoxy. This coat of epoxy is really just to add some sparkle and to seal the paint. So it's gonna be really thin. I just have maybe like seven to 10 milliliters of epoxy and I'm adding Bright, which is a multicolored glitter that I like to add to my epoxy all the time. Um, I put enough in so that when I spread it on the cup, it's really prominent. I wanted the black with the glitter to look kind of like the night sky. So I added a lot more glitter than I normally would um, just to get that effect. After that coat of epoxy cures, you're ready to apply your decals. I made this offset of a decal I created that's available in my SVG shop. I will link it in the description. But what I'm gonna do is add the holographic outline first, and then later after that sealed, go in with the black and put that on top. So it looks like I've layered the text, but I'm kind of doing it backwards just because that's how it worked in my head. You can do it either way. 
And as you can see in the video, I was going to use the parchment paper method to layer this on, but with the silver on the silver, it was really hard to see, so I ended up just eyeballing it, and it worked out pretty well. So whatever technique is easier for you to get this on, do that. I'm also outlining the stars with the same holographic vinyl. I'm not putting any black or anything, of course, into the stars, just doing the outline. So I'm just gonna apply these one by one and that's about it, pretty easy. So here's what we have so far. We've applied all of our outlines and offsets in the holographic vinyl. So I'm gonna add a quick coat of epoxy just to seal all of this in, and then we're ready to add the black portion of our quote decal. Whenever I have a quote or anything like this that I'm applying with an offset to a cup, I like to cut it apart into pieces and apply kind of word by word or line by line. This makes it really easy to apply the letters exactly where I want them to go without having to fumble with a big piece of transfer tape or worry that every word is in the right spot. So I just go word by word, line by line, and that's what's easiest for me. If you like to apply the whole thing at one time, go for it, do whatever you are comfortable with. Once those decals were applied, we're ready for our final coats of epoxy. I ended up using two coats for this cup to get it totally smooth, but once that was cured, we were all done. I really love how this turned out. I love how the glitter in the epoxy over the black mixed with the holographic vinyl gives off a really cool effect and there's so much dimension in this cup. I really love how it turned out. If you want to make the same cup and you like the design, I have both the stars and the quote with the offsets available in my SVG shop on Etsy. It is linked in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in our next video. Bye!